Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello everyone. This is Anu Prashad from KRSG IIT Khadakpur. Today I will demonstrate how to implement binary coded decimal controller that is BCD controller. So before that, let's have a look on what is a 7 segment display. A 7 segment display is an electronic display which can display numbers or some characters. Numbers like 0 to 9, characters like A, B, C, D, E, F. In short, we can display decimal numbers ranging 0 to 9 or hexadecimal numbers ranging 0 to F on a 1 7 segment display. There are total 8 LEDs named as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and a dot as seen from the figure. So now let's go to the BCD controller implementation part. On the right you can see a set of 4 7 segment display. So this 4 7 segment display is there is present on FPGA. Nowadays most of the FPGA have a set of 4 7 segment display to display the number. These 7 segment displays are very important when displaying the outputs like counter uh, output or any addition or subtraction arithmetic output so we use them but the main problem is we can't control all the four seven segment display individually like on FPGA it, it is designed in such a way that the control signals that eight eight control signals which are responsible for turning off and on the LEDs that is A B C D E F G and dot are shared like they it is common for all four only we can do is we can control the N node for all four. So if I want to display a number, let's suppose one three. Let's suppose I want to display number something like this. Zero, zero, one and three. Then just by writing the code for binary to decimal conversion, it's not possible. We can't do this. So for that purpose, we are designing a system that will help us to do, the, do that. So the approach will is very easy. Uh, basically, we can control the seven segment display using anode control. This anode wire. So if the anode is one, the uh, display will be on, hence off. Let's suppose at a time at one clock cycle, only one of the seven segment display is on and is showing a number, and rest three are off. And at the next uh, clock tick the other will be on and the rest 3 will be off and in the same way and let's suppose this updating frequency is too high let's suppose 10 kilohertz or 20 kilohertz something like that then we won't be able to see the difference like it it will look like it will look as it is a constant it is like all the four seven segment displays are constantly glowing so that is our approach for that what we will do like I told you that we will update only one segment at a time so we have to select one of these four this four, four place values like ones tens hundreds and thousands we have to select only one for that we need uh, we make a module that is digit select which will help us in selecting one of the four digits and also selecting the anode control wire for one of the four seven segment display and after selecting this one of the four digits it will send it to bcd converter which will convert it to the decimal equivalent uh, the eight signals which will further uh, uh, which will further turn on the leds and it will show show the number so let's go to the implementation part the code part the very first module is digit select here so as seen from this diagram the input is clock this clock is the system clock and its output is a 2-bit vector output that is cell so we take the input clock then the output we define the output cell it is a 2-bit vector output we initialize it to 0 and it is a register type uh, reg type 
uh, did it, this data type is of reg type why we are setting it as reg because we are assigning it inside the procedural statements now we define a prescaler of 1000 as, we, as I told you that we will update at a very high frequency so we are updating at a 50 kilohertz frequency so I, I need a clock source of 50 kilohertz frequency for that I have I've taken a counter and and just decreasing and just prescaling the original clock so uh, original clock and generating a new clock so this whole block does the prescaling thing and it generates a new clock whose frequency will be 50 kilohertz and on the every positive edge of the new clock this cell value will increment so initially initially it was zero then it will be one then two then three and after that it will again be zero it should be four but then four in binary is one zero zero but this is cell is a two bit vector so the one will the one is the overflow and it will be discarded and then the only and then it will be zero now let's see the anode control model so once we get the cell uh, output from the digit select con uh, digit select module we will uh, we will set the anode control and also we will select that particular digit so first uh, let's suppose like there there are four states like two bit vector so we have four states and we have four bit, uh, seven segment displays also so for each case we are switching on only one second segment display let's suppose for this case it's four bit binary zero 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 one so in this case the rightmost will be active rightmost in the sense one place will be active in the same way in this case thousand place will be active now let's go to digit control module so in the same way uh, for the zero, uh, here also on the basis of cell value we are selecting the digit earlier in the anode control module for 00, zero we took the rightmost as active and the right mode will rightmost will be once so here uh, in the digit control module for 00, zero we will select once and in the same similarly we for one one we'll select thousands now the final module is bcd convert now what this does is it takes the four bit uh, data and it generates the signals that signals like a b c d signals for the seven segment display and uh, which will turn on the leds and we'll get the output number so all all the possible cases are written here the default is all set to one that means nothing is going now let's combine all the modules together so this is the top module we have combined all the modules together the ultimately we have a clock input a system clock then these are the four digit inputs we have a node control output and the main output that is fed to the seven segment display we have instantiated all the modules and this is the top module now we have to create the constant files constant files in the sense we have to map the like we created a hard hardware in the inside fpga but we want to control it using some inputs and we want to get the output so we have to set it so uh, by by doing this we can set the uh, we can set, set the pins to like the whatever pins we want as input and output these are present in the data sheet of that fpga so you can refer to that whatever fpga you have just download the data sheet and you can refer now let's synthesize this so there are some uh, warnings we don't have any error one warning is 11 bit expression is truncated to 10 bit target other is 3 bit expression is truncated to 2 bit target I told you like cell is a 2 bit vector right and it is continuously incrementing so after 1 1 it becomes 1 0 0 
which is a three bit but we don't have a three bit so we stored uh, so the most significant bit is discarded and the and it becomes zero so this warning is okay we don't need to worry about this other warning is missing in the sensitivity list is added for synthesis purpose okay so yeah as we can see we are activating this always block on the level triggered uh, level triggered e event so cell is level triggered event also once tens these are also level triggered uh, level triggered event but we don't want to uh, like we just want to update the data only when cell is changed so that's why we don't need to worry about this this will generate the correct circuit now let's implement the design by the time it's implementing we can have a look on the schematic this is the top module we can double click it to see the other modules the other four modules is it select digit control anode control and bcd converter if you want to see the inside circuitry then you can again double click and get that so this is the inside circuitry for that uh, digital digit select module similarly for digit control module anode control and bcd converter so the implementation has been done Let's generate the programming file. Now it's generated. Now connect the FPGA through USB cable and then switch on, uh, power it on, and then configure it. Boundary scan, right click, initialize chain. Yes. Now go to the folder where you have saved the project. In my case, it's here. Select this dot bit file and open. The device supports attached flash PROM. So if you want to store the program on the FPGA, then you can uh, do yes. I don't want to store, so I am doing no. Now OK. Right click and program. Yeah, so now we can see that we are able to control all the 4-7 segment displays individually. It's not that they are having the same values. So let's write a 4 digit number to it. Let's write 3084. So we can write an, uh, we can give any input and it will show the output so that's all for today in the next video of fpga series we will implement a bcd counter we will use all the concepts that we learned today if you find this video helpful then like it and share it with your friends if you have any doubt then you may post it in the, in the comment section and we will try to answer it Thanks for watching the video.